How to build a battery when the world has ended? And more importantly, why would you need it? The lights are dead, the last gas station burned days ago, and your only hope of charging that cracked radio is to make power from garbage. Good news, trash is the new electricity. Grab a copper strip or a wire ripped from a dead toaster. Now find zinc, like that rusty nail you pulled from your boot. If it's sharp enough to stab you, it'll work. Next, liquid. Acidic is best. Lemon juice, vinegar, even that can of flat soda you found under the corpse of civilization. Stack it like you're building the saddest sandwich in history. Copper, paper soaked in acid, zinc. Again, and again. Tape it tight. If it tingles when you touch it, congrats. You've got voltage. Why does it work? Work. Simple. Zinc spits out electrons, copper slurps them up, and your sour liquid keeps the fight going. Science. Turning rot into watts since forever. Hook it to your radio. If it hisses with static, you're alive. Or someone else is. Either way, enjoy your DIY power plant made from apocalypse leftovers. No grid? No problem. Just corrosion, desperation, and a little chemistry.